I'm just shooting a short video to um, try and explain how I have my um, title with MQA set up on how I access it from my listening room. This is a back room where um, my audio rack is. It's just a uh, HP laptop. You can see the Dragonfly Red and also on the other side I have the um, HDMI out on that. So there's the title screen. And then I have that hooked up to my Rance AV8802. I have it split. I have the um, video signal on the HDMI and the um, audio signal is um, just analog coming right out of the um, the uh, Dragonfly DAC. So I'll go into the other room and show you how I access it from in there. So this is my theater slash listening room. The um, laptop you saw is right on the other side of that wall where the screen is. And uh, just for reference, uh, my music system that I'm listening to right now is uh, those Aerial Acoustic 70s driven by um, Musical Fidelity M8 700 monoblock amps. So that's all that right there. And then uh, this is the little cheapy Logitech uh, wireless keyboard and mouse that I use to uh, control um, that PC from this room. And there's the extension of the screen from that laptop in the other room. As you can see right down in that corner, it says master, which means it's an MQA file. I'm not sure if that's master quality audio or master quality authenticated. I think it's authenticated, but whatever, tomato, tomato, right? So uh, that's how I did it. There's my main seat right there. And I'm about, yeah, probably about 11, 12 feet. I took a lot of um, time uh, to position those speakers and try and get everything to sound right in this room. And I really like the MQA files that I've listened to. Most of them are really good. A couple of them were kind of mad, but for the most part, they're really good. And it seems to be uh, catching on, so to speak. So uh, I guess I'll just end here. If you have any questions or comments, feel free. Thank you.